Hey everybody, it's Keith Vidal One Automotive Training Channel, and I gotta use my phone because whatever happened with Autel's most recent update, I can no longer connect with TeamViewer to my IM508. So you're gonna have to watch a video of me using my camera, that guy right there, pointed at an Autel screen. I'm sorry, I'd much rather superimpose it like I do all the other ones, but this is what we got. So, we have a 722.9, this is the original out of the car. They shipped me a brand new unit core valuable part uh, that they bought to put in the customer's car all right oh got the got the topo chico make it worth it so uh we just clicked programmer we're gonna click bins hope that john gets this uh other phone he did all right it says use the im 400 or sorry the xp 400 we'll click okay we don't need that good esper selection Sorry, I thought John might have a question for me. So, we're in Mercedes, in Expert Selection. We're going to go to TCU Tools. We are connected to this with the power, ground, and communication lines. Focus. Click Read TCU Data. So how we have this hooked up, uh, by the way, is we have power, ground, and comms. Go into this DSG adapter that I got from Isaac over Auto Rescue Tools and Equipment. We're using a Go Diag that's got uh, 12 volts in. It has a male and a female OBD2. One of them goes to the DSG connector with an on off switch and a 120 ohm resistor. The other one goes to the OBD2 plug that goes to the IM508. As you can see, it reads the data. So we're going to click OK. We're going to save this transmission data. I already did it once just to make sure it's all hooked up and talks, but we're going to click. So that one that says the 1109, which is the VIN 01, it's just a second copy, that's why it says 01. We're also going to go ahead and back up the coding data since they're transferring the valve body or the conductor plate only and leaving the valve body. We're going to want that coding data as well. Again, by VIN with 01 saves it, backup is complete. Press OK. All right, so at this point, we've pulled the data off of the original one um, all the data that we need. So we're going to stop. I'm going to pause it here. We're going to hook up the replacement unit on the bench. We're going to save that data as well because supposedly it's brand new from the dealer. So hang tight. Okay, now we got the replacement unit on the bench. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn the key on. Uh, okay, looks like we've got some talking over there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and read ECU data out of this one. And looks like it's got no VIN written to it at all, which is normal. Um, key track data is there. All right, we'll press OK. Save transmission data, yes. So that one saved a C, uh, TCU data bin because there's no VIN. We'll click OK. Go to backup coding data. Go ahead just in case. We're going to read the coding data. OK. So it's backed up. Now we're going to go ahead and go to load TCU data. We're going to load the one from this is this car, 1109. OK. Loading those files. That's all the data we want, so we're going to press OK. So we're going to go ahead and write TCU data. Yep, it's connected on a bench. We'll press OK. So, succeeded in writing, so we're going to go OK. And we're going to write the coding data too. Again, that way all the coding data from the other uh, valve body solenoids and stuff will be written to this one as well. So 1109 TCU coding. Okay. So I've got to write the VIN in here now. So I need to go and compare it to the other one. Hold on one second so I can grab the VIN. Okay, so we wrote the VIN. We're going to press OK. It's going to write the VIN and the coding data to it. Writing coding is complete, we'll press OK. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the TCU. Succeed in activation, OK.
So personalization happens on the car. We can't do that here because um, we just have these on the bench. So let's go ahead and key this off for a second. Escape out of that. Key it on. Just talking. Go back to TCU tools. Select to read TCU data. Okay, so during the coding, it had me write the VIN, but normally I do the VIN write separately. I don't normally do a, a virginized one. So um, I'm actually, we actually had to write the VIN. Here we go. Uh, you just had to go to write VIN and then write the VIN in there manually. And then we'll go back to read TCU data. And now it's going to have a VIN number stored. VIN number. A VIN stored. There we go. So now it's got the correct VIN, uh, the number. The special key, the transport key are all are the same. It's initialized, TP is cleared, personalized and activated, and all the key tracks are the same. This should this should start, run, and drive the car. So if you want to see and learn how to do stuff like this, don't forget to check out our class coming up soon next month. Um, I take it back. Depends when this thing airs. If you would like to see more stuff like this, go ahead and check out at l1training.com and you can learn how to do this too. We'll see you there. Thanks next time. We'll see you.